If this turtle is the only thing that moves slower than your golf cart, let's have a talk. It's time for Extreme Golf Cart Makeover, right now, on GCG TV. Hey, welcome back to Extreme Golf Cart Makeover. Make sure you stick around for the end of today's episode to see our sweepstakes winners announced. And don't forget to stop by our series homepage at the address on your screen so you can follow along with the whole transformation and enter to win big for your cart too. But today we're starting by getting our hands and the floor and everything else in sight dirty as we tear down our 2006 EasyGo TXT and install the five inch drop axle lift kit and 23 inch all-terrain Predator tires on 14 inch GTW Spider rims that we got from Mad Jacks. We'll cover some quick tips and reality checks along the way. And even if you don't drive a TXT, this season will feature parts like our lift and tires today that we can help you find for your cart. Here in the golf cart garage, our motto is move fast and break things, which might give me too much credit as I'm certain I can still break things while moving slowly. But either way, we already documented our cart height and speed in our season premiere. So we decided to dive right in and start tearing things apart. Before we perform any work on the cart, it's always best to remove the keys, set the park brake, switch from run to tow mode, and chalk the wheels. First, we remove the cart rooftop and struts all at once by unbolting the struts from the body and carrying the whole assembly away. This is why it's always great to have some help from a friend or a skilled coworker like Nick to help carry away large items, be a second pair of eyes on installs, and make sure things get done safely. Okay, time to break for a quick reality check during teardown. Condition of the vehicle you choose can have a dramatic impact on success. With a 15-year-old EasyGo TXT that was used as a golf course service vehicle, we're running into a fair amount of rusted hardware and steel rivets that we had to drill out to remove. Reattaching these points can require a run to the hardware store for hardware, rivets, and an applicator. The light package had been long disconnected but left in place, so we also spent some time carefully reverse engineering and removing the wiring harness, voltage reducer, and fixtures. That sounds more complicated than it was. We followed the wiring and made sure to remove it without disconnecting or cutting anything important to the powertrain wiring. The harness that connects your charge receptacle, key switch, batteries, controller, and motor can usually only be replaced by contacting the manufacturer of the vehicle or having one fabricated. So take extra care to leave that wiring intact. It's also wise to have a careful look at the parts that will stay in place when choosing your project cart, such as its suspension and steering components. It's easier to work on a vehicle with good bones, but if something needs replaced, you know where to go. All right, here's our next reality check during our lift. Earlier, we discussed suspension and steering that stay in place during the lift installation. Today, we've come to find that some of the hardware on those parts has had a very long, rusty 15 years, which is understandable. I mean, we had a long 15 years just during 2020. Anyway, we wound up having to pull the shock absorbers from the top because the lower bolts couldn't safely be removed to pull the axle assembly. Since we'll have to replace the shocks, we decided it would also be a great time to upgrade all the leaf springs, the steering box, and the tie rod assembly as well to give the TXT an all new foundation. Stick with us. We won't hide it when things go wrong. Obviously, a new pair of shock absorbers and some penetrating spray for some of the other bolts could have taken care of this, but we decided to replace all these components while we're at it, so this makeover will be dependable and in place for years to come. So this is a steering rack. Nice rack. That's, that, that's a deer hunting joke, right? And here's a great point to mention that we're getting a really nice upgrade to the bones here. The Mad Jax lift kit that we're using came beautifully packaged, American made, and we're really impressed with how well built it is. The quality here is a cut above the rest, and we can't wait to get a test drive in. Also, the manufacturer install video here was a great step-by-step -step guide for those of us that need a little guidance. 
The all-terrain Predator tires are a great professional grade, along with the GTW Spider rims. We're really impressed with the look. We'll link these items in the video description below so you can find them easily at golfcartgarage.com. And one final word on hardware for today's episode, safety. Leaf spring kits generally don't come with the bolts for the shackle or shoulder, and if you have to replace these for breakage or corrosion, we recommend ordering the correct OEM replacement instead of using a hardware store find. Weight-bearing bolts like these ones should be of a certain hardness and quality, which is uncommon to big box stores. Ordinary, everyday hardware used in these circumstances can be dangerous. Use frame-grade hardware and keep that cart and its driver safely off the ground. Now that we've got our cart lifted and already looking better, next time we'll be moving on to installing our Mad Jack's Storm Body Kit. Lots of cool features to share with you on that quality, innovative new kit, and we can't wait to show you more of what Mad Jack's has to offer. So don't miss out on the rest. Visit the series homepage at the address on your screen for sweepstakes details and to enter our monthly drawing. It's quick and painless to enter, and you can re-enter each month for even more chances to win. Entries are open right now for our March giveaways, so don't wait. Visit the homepage to enter for your chance to be one of the six March winners, or submit your video entry to be considered for the $3,000 grand prize in our season finale. Here are the six lucky winners taking home Golf Cart Garage store credit this month. Third prize goes to Sam W. from Arizona, who won $50 for his Yamaha, and Bobby Q. from Tennessee, who won $50 for his EasyGo. Second prize goes to Daryl C. from Oregon, who won $100 for his club car, and to James C. from Kentucky, who won $100 for his EasyGo TXT. And a big congratulations to our first prize winners this month. Joseph C. from Ohio won $200 for his Yamaha, along with also sending in a great video entry for the grand prize at the end of the season. So he's still in the running. And a big congratulations to Tim H. from Minnesota, who won $200 for his easy go, don't you know? Make sure to bookmark it. Sorry. Make sure to bookmark that page and enter as often as you want. Congratulations to our winners from all your friends here in the garage. Just stop by golfcartgarage.com or give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 if there's anything we can do to help with your project. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCGTV.